Good morning. My name is Jeff Lovejoy, and I'm a certified business coach with Action Coach. Today I'm speaking with Pete Van Cleve, uh, who is the CEO of Water for Life. Good morning, Pete. Good morning. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Pete, tell me a little bit. You've been in Water for Life a long time. Tell me about the business. Yeah, it's a little over 30 years now that uh, we've, we've been in the business. And, uh, you know, somebody whispered water in my ear a long time ago. And, and uh, I thought it was a good industry to get into. Who do you know that doesn't drink water, right? <laughs> right. So uh, uh, we have lots and lots of small customers, and that gives us, I think, some security that we wouldn't have if we were just uh, relying on one or two big customers. Um, but it also gives us the opportunity to meet and get to know a lot of people, which is the part of the business that I love. Right. So, so Pete, are your 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 clients are they the target the sweet the sweet spot the the niche is it commercial is it residential is it high end low end where is it? Well, um, as you know, um, or maybe you don't know, uh, we were involved in bottled water uh, for many years up until February of last year when I sold that part of my business. The water treatment side was the side that really had been growing and uh, showing the best, the most promise. Uh, it has the opportunity to scale. We've got a lot of uh, uh, advantages in water treatment that we didn't have in bottled water. And frankly, the bottled water side was a uh, loser. Uh, it, you know, a lot of uh, inventory requirements, a lot of uh, capital investment requirements and uh, we, we just wanted to focus on the water treatment and um, so it was kind of a step out in faith for us because uh, the bottled water was always kind of the fast nickel where the water treatment was the slow dollar and um, uh, but we had uh, built up enough of a customer base over 30 years that uh, we have all the service behind the sale. So uh, that is now our fast nickel and the, and the equipment sale still is the slow dollar. You, you never know when you're gonna get an equipment sale. Uh, what we wanted to do was uh, focus on the residential market. And so um, a lot of what we sold was, uh, with our bottled water business was an inline bottleless cooler uh, business uh, as well <clears throat> that kind of goes hand in hand with the bottled water and uh, so we you know we're pretty much uh, out of the office side of the business but we still do water treatment commercially for uh, people like Kroger uh, in their plant locations and and so forth and that actually has been a great uh, addition to our business. Uh, we did it a long time ago and, and uh, but uh, with COVID-19, of course, uh, the grocery stores have been thriving, like you said, one of those businesses that just went nuts. And uh, so they had some extra money to spend and they, uh, and we were able to work with them. Uh, we had a, another customer that uh, makes cheesecakes in their plant and we did the uh, a water softening for them as well. And so uh, those, those are things that have happened just since COVID-19 hit. Got it. And, and so you're primarily residential towns like, but you have some large corporate uh, clients. It, are you mostly focused inside perimeter, outside perimeter, Georgia, Southeast, US? Where's the geographic focus? Uh, well, we would say, we would call it Atlanta metropolitan area. Um, in, in the past, we have uh, been um, consultants for national companies where we would put together a water filtration program for them and help them to manage it. And uh, we still do have, uh, you know, those capabilities and, uh, you know, we're, we're interested in doing more of that. Uh, we've done, uh, we've done uh, convenience stores in the past and restaurant chains and we have uh, uh, still today, a uh, fair amount of restaurant business. 
so Pete, when you say water treatment, I, what does that what does that mean? I, I mean, I, visual what it, visually? I, I, it's obviously not a whole plant out in the back of my house, like you go by and the Clayton Waterworks. But what is it <laughs> for the for the average uh, residential customer? It's a whole house filter or water softener uh, combined, usually with a drinking water appliance under the sink. Uh, in the kitchen where they get most of their drinking water. Um, it, it, but we are certified in everything from uh, basic disinfection, like the city does with adding chlorine and so forth. Sorry about that. It's all right. All right, back. Um, and, uh, and right straight through to simple under the sink, uh, you know, carbon filtration. Uh, so we use uh, ozonators, UV lights, and chlorinators for basic disinfection. Mostly that's on wells. So we have a lot of well business mm. where people get all of their drinking water from a well rather than from the city. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, but I would say the majority of our business still today is uh, municipal water treatment. So it's our job to take out what the government leaves in and give you extra protection from the government water that's made uh, Got it. You know, for, for everybody. Got it. Okay. So that means you're in houses installing your water treatment systems. Correct. With this whole um, what the times that we've been going through recently with COVID, where people are hesitant to have folks in their house, how how have you been impacted? Yeah, it, it was uh, it was really scary at first, uh, Jeff, because like those first two weeks, those first fifteen days that the president announced uh, was going to be like the initial period, it was it just stopped. We had no service business. I think everybody was a little scared. They were trying to figure it out. Uh, we're all still, you know, wondering, you know, whether the information that we get is real or not. And, right. Um, and so, yeah, it was pretty scary there. Uh, but then my industry did something special, which I thought really helped. And they, uh, the Water Quality Associates, uh, Association sent out a notification that the, the water treatment along with the bottled water industry was an essential service. And they put together a nice letter and I you know, changed it up a little bit and I decided to send that to all of my customers. Uh, so we did a mass mailing on that to everybody. And the initial mailing that we did generated uh, a, a bunch of new business. Uh, and people called up, I even had people that said, hey, we want to support support you because we know you're a small business. So, you know, wear a mask, you know, wear gloves, you know, wear booties if you want to, but we're, you know, come on in. We want to get our uh, service going. Um, so I think just letting people know that we were in business and available and, uh, and we're an essential service uh, helped. And so we repeated that. Uh, mailing uh, a couple of additional times, and each time we did it, we got uh, people more response. So um, I think that was one of the things that we did that uh, helped us to get through. And then uh, we we also beefed up our um, Facebook presence. Uh, we ran a lot more ads than we normally would. We ran them for longer. We spent more money on them uh, because, you know, I've, I've always thought that in times of contraction that your dollar, if you spend uh, more on advertising or, or marketing efforts, that your dollars go further. They right. get out there quicker. Right. Uh, they, they get more attention uh, because yes. other people may be pulling back. Yeah. So um, we even had a couple of customers or uh, competitors that decided to just to not participate. They weren't going to go into homes. And uh, we just stepped out in faith and wore our masks and uh, did, you know, 
sprayed things down, you know, went by all the rules and, and uh, people seem to appreciate that. And, and uh, it just kept building and growing from there and all the extra advertising that we did helped as well because uh, we got a lot more new equipment business. I was like, you know, can't believe people are still spending money, but they were. Most of the people that we do business with are unaffected by the economy. They're uh, living in half million dollar homes and up and they have, you know, plenty of spendable income to begin with. And that's, that's our typical target audience. Yeah, interesting. So have so have you have you actually grown during this period, or are you kind yeah. of maintaining? We actually have grown. Congrats! I, I had I have more cash in the bank now uh, than I've had in fifteen years. Wow! Congratulations! It's uh it's been phenomenal. And of course, you know, we took some action immediately. I, I said, if the government's going to help me out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take advantage of that and try to be the first guy in line. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we, we did that. You know, we got our stimulus money and uh, we applied for the loans. We did all that. It, and then it turned out that the loans uh, were unnecessary because um, our cash was flowing so well yeah. I, I didn't really need it. And right. because we had um, the employees that we have on our payroll are, are, are permanent and they're, they're with us day in and day out. They don't work for anybody else, but they were still contractors. Um, they, they didn't qualify as employees under the terms of the, the loan act. And so I just had one uh, employee and the, the amount of money that I would have gotten for the loan was not, not enough to make me want to be indebted to the government in any way, even if I didn't have to pay it back, because yeah. who knows how that's all going to work out. Right, right. <laughs> so we, you know, we didn't need it, so we didn't, we didn't go for it. Good, good. Good for you. Yeah. So, um, Pete, it said that smart people um, learn from mistakes. Wise people learn from other people's mistakes. <laughs> what sort of lessons can you share with people that will be watching this video? Things to, that you learn to avoid or strategies to overcome situations? Are there any things that kind of stick in your mind that, that really was a really good lesson learned for you? Uh, yeah, it's, it's that uh, people basically want to support small business. Hmm. And, um, and it, it was played back to me over and over again. You know, we're, we're pretty intimate, you know, with our customers because we're in their homes and, sure. you know, we're, we're walking through their basements and we're seeing all their stuff and, if they're good housekeepers or bad housekeepers, you know, we, uh, you know, we kind of get to know them from the inside out. And uh, I was just encouraged by the people, you know, and how well they responded. And so um, the fear that we all felt, I think, and I, and I felt those first couple of weeks um, is, is unfounded, you know, uh, and, you know, love turns that around. And we just try to love our customers, let them know that, you know, we're, we're there for them and we want them to be uh, not afraid to let us in their homes because we, we're going to be respectful. We're going to spray everything down. We're going to, you know, wear the masks and the, the gloves and do all the things that they need to do to protect themselves. And we even said, we, you might want to uh, actually, uh, you know, go out and sit on, sit on the lawn or, you know, out on your patio while we're in there. And then you, then you have no exposure at all. Right. And right. we're usually in and out on a service call in a half an hour to an hour. So, oh. uh, you know, go out and read and enjoy your garden <laughs> while we're working on your water system. <laughs> yep. Excellent. Excellent. So Pete, how can people reach out to you and, and, and connect? 
Uh, well, you know, we are on uh, Facebook. We do, you know, a fair amount of the business. And so um, uh, through uh, internet marketing, uh, I'm a home advisor pro. Uh, and we're a three time best in category award winner in the last two years running, 2018 and 2019. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, most of my leads come from that Home Advisor Pro organization. They do a lot of national advertising yep. on television. I'm sure you've seen it. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, and while we don't get all the leads that are sent to us, and we still have to pay for those leads, um, we we get it's still the be the very best thing that what I that I do in a uh, from an ROI standpoint. Do you have a website? We do. We have a website. Uh, people come to us uh, from the website. We're working on um, that with a, a new SEO company right now. Uh, they're putting together a plan. Uh, we still need to do some updating on our website from the bottled water days. Uh, we still have, uh, and we want to change some things around. So we're waiting on their proposal right now. And um, we're going to spend some of this money that we've made uh, yeah. really putting our website back and getting our SEO back in shape and getting uh, up to the top of our category. That's, sure. that's a big thing for us. But referrals are the, are the best thing for us. And uh, we're a Home Advisor Pro Elite. And so people go in, when they go on Home Advisor, they can read all of our referrals. And we actually have more referrals on water treatment uh, than even some of the big uh, plumbing firms in town uh, who, you know, they do everything, hot water heaters and sewer work and everything. Uh, and uh, all their referrals are, you know, on a variety of things. But you go in and count, we have more uh, great referrals on water treatment than, than anybody, even those big companies. Wow. So I'm, wow. I'm proud of that. Yeah, it speaks highly. Um, yeah. So, so do, name, is there an office number, or someone wants to call you? Is there a number they can call you at? Yeah, it's it's on it's on the website seven seven zero five seven eight zero six hundred. I'm usually okay. in the field working, so okay. it uh, forwards to me, and I can uh, answer people as the day goes along. Excellent. Sometimes it's hard to get stuff done because the phone's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> So one last question for you, Pete. What's insp what inspires you these days? <laughs> you know what? You know what inspires a CEO? Lots of cash. Lots of cash in the bank account. <laughs> <laughs> so you're feeling pretty inspired right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty inspired right now. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, thanks so much for your time today, Pete. It's been great. Um, appreciate your insights and, and congratulations on uh, continued success. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity, Jeff. It's been a delight. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye-bye.